Welcome to my library. Today we're going to read a book called I Have a Dream. And it's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech. And the paintings are by Cater Nelson. So this is a beautiful book. Beautiful, beautiful paintings in this book. This is one of my favorite books of Martin Luther King Jr. There they are at the Lincoln Memorial. I have a dream, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I say to you today, my friends, that even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Now they are at the reflective pool. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, My country tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom reign. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prestigious hills of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. 
But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain in Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain in Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every molehill and hill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Beautiful book. This is the entire speech, exactly as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered it from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom on August 28, 1963. Beautiful book, beautiful speech. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a wonderful man with high ideals. What a beautiful representation of Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech, I Have a Dream. Thank you for coming to my library. I hope you'll come back so we can read together again. Please ask your parents or an adult to like and subscribe to this channel. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite book is so I can read it too. I'll see you next time.